Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. As you might know, I live in a very small apartment and it's not easy to make antennas for different bands. In this video, I'm making a quarter wave antenna for my balcony and uh, it's going to be for the six meter band to be used with military radios because there aren't many people on six meters FM around here and if you want to get people on a certain band well you have to listen and you have to call and you have to let people know that someone is listening so I decided to make a uh, quarter wave vertical which is going to be about uh, meter 50 uh, in length for the uh, radiating element and uh, with a counterpoise so it's going to be right here I'm going to reverse the camera and you see where I'm going to attach it here now I have my uh, 2 meter J pole right here and uh, I'm going to put the uh, 6 meter antenna right in this corner what you see here is actually a round tube it's about 5 centimeters 50 millimeters so I needed to make a clamp that would go on here with the antenna pointing up I got an 8 millimeter copper tube here and it's fairly thin but uh, it's not a very long antenna so that won't be a problem here's the uh, first clamp I made and uh, you can see it's broken but it's not a problem because I made a big mistake uh, the hole here the holes on the tabs are too close to the tube and actually it interferes when the tube is inside here it actually touches the bolt so I had to uh, I had to redo it basically I broke this by uh, trying to drill it because uh, my tolerances were a little bit too tight and I thought I could just take a drill and uh, drill the holes a little bit bigger but it just shattered the plastic so uh, not a very good thing to do uh, but it's good that it happened on this one and not the next one so I redesigned this uh, to work with uh, longer tabs and so the screw, I mean the bolt, will be a little bit further and will clear the tube. Uh, you can see here there is a hole for the, uh, the tube and uh, this was also a little too tight but I could uh, drill it without shattering the plastic so I'll be able to drill this to uh, 8.5 millimeters uh, instead of having the printer uh, make a, an 8 millimeter hole which was it just there wasn't any tolerances so that was bad here I don't know if you can see it but there is a there is a hole a square hole I'm going to put a BNC through here and I hope it's going to be long enough here to accommodate the length of the BNC and I'm having some doubts also I will put a, a counterpoise uh, connector just a screw a bolt uh, a nut and bolt going through here the side also, uh, I uh, printed a cap for the uh, copper tube and a, uh, a little cap for the bottom here. And I'll show you how I did that. Here's my design in Tinkercad, which is a great program for beginners and works in your browser. You can see it here, the new clamp with the holes a little bit further from where the tube is supposed to be. The problem here is that uh, those holes are too tight and same for this one here. I actually lengthened the little box here, the, the little opening for the BNC. So I'm going to uh, show you how it works basically uh, a little quick here. I'm going to make an 8.2 millimeter hole here and 8.4 here. I think my Mac mini is starting to uh, show its age. Okay, so uh, I'll put the height at uh, maybe, uh, let's say, uh, well, it doesn't really matter, but 70 millimeters. So let's move it now. Okay, I'm going to drag it this way, 90 degrees. And now I'm going to uh, make it go the other way. Here we go. 90 degrees. Now I'm going to lower the tube. and place it approximately in its new place here and I'm going to align both uh, vertically okay so that should be in the middle now and it is so I have my 6.4 millimeter hole instead of six millimeters 
Now I'm going to merge the two. And here we go, we have a uh, hole that's a little bit bigger, uh, will allow the bolt to go through. And this one won't interfere with the tube. Now of course I don't really have to do this because the design is being printed right now at work. So uh, I'm just doing this for uh, future versions if I have to print another one. And I'm, th I'm thinking I'm going to have another one printed so that if I break it, uh, I just have a replacement right away. And here is uh, version 2. Now I also made uh, two caps, one for the bottom of the clamp and the other one for the uh, copper tube. Amazing. I will be cutting the tube at a meter 40. I have to make the hole a little wider here, which I forgot to do in the software, so uh, I'm using masking tape so that I don't drill too far. Now I'm going to make some epoxy so I can glue the tube inside the clamp. This antenna is actually a more of a half-wave dipole than a quarter-wave ground plane because it has only one radial which is going to hang vertically. So definitely more of a dipole than a quarter-wave actually. If I was using four radials elevated, that would be a quarter-wave. And it was sort of my intention, but uh, I think just one will uh, work just fine if it's hanging vertically. This will be a vertical dipole and omnidirectional and it should work really fine. I put the cap on with a little bit of epoxy, check the connections and everything is fine. And here it is. I'll probably have to cut it a little bit shorter, uh, which is good because it touches the ceiling here. So, But this will work just fine and, and here is how it looks counterpoise is here and when the antenna is not being used I'm just going to put it in. I don't want my neighbors to see a wire dangling down. And the result is really not what I was hoping for. It is, this is really bad. 6 to 1 SWR so uh, definitely not usable. Uh, not without a tuner anyways. Uh, very um, disappointing. <laughs> It actually looks more resonant uh, around 40 MHz at 3.2 to 1 SWR, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So it is a fail. It doesn't work. And I think it's because of all that metal around the antenna that uh, messes it up. And sometimes you build something for a certain environment and uh, it doesn't work in that environment. It might work somewhere else because that antenna is very simple and theoretically it should have worked fine. But I'm going to have to come up with uh, another idea for uh, this balcony antenna. Not all is lost though, I learned to use Tinkercad a little bit better and uh, well, you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. And I think it's important that I share my failures as much as my successes because uh, like I said, things don't always work and uh, you have to uh, be ready for that and you shouldn't be too uh, worked up about it because, uh, you know, it's normal. Uh, it's part of the learning process. Have a good one.